welcome back. I have to put a little disclaimer tonight that those of you who know the end of the story don't blow it for those that don't around you. A lot of people have heard this story before. And also, if uh, I'm going to keep the names of the individuals to myself so that protect the innocent and the guilty. <laughs> so the problem was this guy was a crook. The problem was he, uh, everybody knew he was a crook. He's, uh, he was known, everybody knew him that he was not, uh, uh, he would never give you a good deal. He's always uh, out to uh, get the upper hand no matter if it crossed the boundaries of the law. <clears throat> But on this day, they caught him red-handed with the materials in hand, and uh, there was nobody questioning innocence or guilt. Everybody knew we got him, and uh, that's when he began to think within himself, I need a lawyer. Yeah, I, I've got to have a lawyer. Uh, so and with, you know, get the old phone book out and begin to look at, or not really a phone book, but he had heard of a lawyer that had never lost a case. And he said, that's who I need. I need him. He's, he said he never lost a case. I've got to get a hold of him. So he contacts and begins to talk to his lawyer and said, hey, I'm guilty. I did it. I, I was caught red-handed. Uh, there's no way around it. And his lawyer says, you know, I've never lost a case. And uh, I think I can, we can make this right. I think we can get you off of this. And I, and, uh, and he's begin to share with his lawyer, his, his, his soul and that he, he wanted to turn over, make a new leaf and do a change. And, and he begins to tell his lawyer this and, and his lawyer says, you know, I've never lost a case. And I can get you through this. And, and, uh, he said, man, I feel so good about that, that you, you're sure you can get me off. He said, yeah, we're, we're going to get you off of this. We're going to make sure everything's clear. And uh, so tomorrow is my case. And the lawyer said, just be at the courthouse, 12 o'clock. We're going to, this is open and shut, Kate. We're going to get you through this. I've never lost a case. You be there and we'll, I'll be there. And we're going to get through this. So the, the, young man <clears throat> shows up to the courthouse and uh, he begins to come up into the courtroom and begins to look around and he sees the accusers and begins to see all the crowd coming in and, and he comes up to the desk and uh, they said that's where you're supposed to sit and, and uh, he just starts looking around I wonder where my lawyer is you know and I can't find my lawyer and uh, they you know, it's getting close, and uh, his lawyer's nowhere to be found. I said, what's the big deal with this lawyer? He said he's never lost a case, and now I can't find him anywhere. I, and here's, I'm, I'm going to be hung, and, and what am I going to do? I don't have a lawyer. I told him, he said, to be here, this is where I'm supposed to be. And uh, he's, needless to say, he's starting to get anxious. Anxiety is building up, and... Now it's getting closer, five minutes before his court time is, you know, to start. His lawyer's not there. And he is in full-blown panic attack. What am I going to do <clears throat> about my case? I, I'm going to be, it, it's over. This is it. I'm done. And, uh, and finally, uh, as everybody comes in, everybody starts to take their position. And uh, they begin to hammer the on the table and he says all rise and uh and enter, enters the judge and he's he where is my lawyer what's gonna happen and uh, he he turns up and i turn to my scripture reading for tonight as he looks up and he sees the judge is his lawyer this is found in isaiah chapter 3 verse 13 the lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. So if you're going to get a good lawyer, 
make sure he's also the judge and he's going to get you off.